Assalamualaikum and very good day. Uh, I would like to continue our topic is database analysis and design today. Before we start uh, design our database, uh, we need to do the database initial study. In database initial study, uh, we need to essentially define the requirement uh, of the database uh, and this must be integrated with uh, what the organization goal and what the current system have and all this must be uh, put together and uh, actually in the business study uh, you should know how to to get the data and uh, I mean what kind of data that we want to one want to, to store in our database system so all this information I uh, need to know and you must gather from the uh, user and then of course the, in the purpose of the data specification uh, you need to further analyze the you know the uh, what is the objective of the company and how it's related to the the the, the re resolving the problem the the company has and all this actually will define the database that you want to develop of course the database uh, you want to design uh, possibly have already uh, linked to other database in in the other department for example so um, if the new maybe maybe okay you don't need to to define the scope but if you have already the system environment i mean uh, other the environment already have already have the system the how you define the scope how your database will link to other database so this is a very important to define also and um, so you see the the graph in the database study you can get a analysis of the company situation and they have uh, company objectives, operation, and the structure. All this you must uh, explain and uh, understand before you can uh, define the requirement of your database. So uh, all this uh, analyze the company situation, regard to the the company uh, structured mission, and uh, understanding the operational of the company what the company do and all this um, I'm not refer, uh, refer to the company only it's other uh, other organization uh, also as a group uh, of people uh, required of this and uh, of course the database objective must correspond to the what actually the what the user want right in other words what user want what user what is the one to view about the data? So all this uh, must be tailored with the, uh, the data that you will capture later. Of course, in, uh, in the database initial study also, you need to uh, formally define the, the, the what we call the requirement of the data that you want to uh, capture and uh, Define the scope and also the boundary of the, of the database system. So this one is very important in your in your project. So you need to very clear define this. Okay, this example of the how to define the mission statement. Uh, the mission of your database must be must be tailored to the mission of the organization. Right? Yes, you can see this uh, example of this mission in uh, and. Uh, that the project in Connolly so you can check how the Connolly define the the mission of the database uh, according to the, the requirement uh, uh, gathered from the users yep. okay uh, follow uh, this system definition is is more detail about the what uh, user one uh, detail until you know what's actually the the what the detail about the particular job role for example right uh, manager and supervisor as a user 
So what is actually the rules? We need to define because this uh, will uh, re uh, relate to the uh, relationship uh, between the the entity that we define later. Uh, okay, all this about the system definition and then uh, all this actually the the requirement and this definition of the database actually um, will present the, the view of the database system. So in database system, you you have to imagine there are like this, there are uh, various view from the various kind of users uh, from the from the you know from the lower job until to the the top management, right? So you must have a different view, and uh, later you have to proceed to the the collection of the requirement from this these uh, different people or different views right and um, the process of collecting and analyzing information is uh, about will be the part of the organization uh, and need to be uh, supported by the our database system that we want to design it right and then uh, of course uh, the information data that we collect must be analyzed in order to identify the requirement for the for the database that we want to design right and uh, actually there are the 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 process of uh, understanding the requirements have three main approach so centralized approach view integration approach and combination boost right? and then this uh, uh, look into this uh, figure, right? In central approach, you see there are different different view from different users. For example, the view number one is possible uh, manager. Uh, user number two is possible uh, uh, supporting staff, or and maybe user three is clerk. There are different view, but from the view, you you will will organize the requirement accordingly and then all the requirement you will analyze and see which one is uh, can be same which one can be different and all this requirement you you properly uh, define and classified and all the view from this requirement will be one so I mean that from the different views you will uh, put it together and become one and later you will design according to the all the view we, uh, by using the modeling method that we will uh, learn later right. so you have you must have a global data model where it actually come from the whole requirement from the from all the users so uh, this data model uh, we are representing uh, what we call a single user uh, single user view and also we call local data model so the local data model uh, from the different views we combine together and finally we we'll come up with a global data model and uh, okay uh, another step another method uh, using what we call the view integration approach is actually uh, come from uh, the each of the view from the user we will uh, design the, the database model. We design the model, and so we, we will have uh, many models from the many views, and then all this model finally we, we combine that uh, with a single uh, global data model. It's the uh, same with the previous approach, but this one we do the uh, design first before we combine the design. And of course, uh, we can use the both both of the method uh, together that we call hybrid uh, right, together okay in requirement analysis uh, one step that we need to to do before we can design is uh, to collect the requirement for the database so in order to collect we need to use some method or uh, some technique we call fact finding there are formal process of using uh, this technique, uh, such as interview, questionnaire, and other things that we can use to collect a, a fact about the system requirement and a preference. And uh, of course, uh, this uh, task require you to to 
to meet and to discuss with the end user. So end user will play the main role here. In fact, time tennis, normally the, the task is actually in the early stages or in the, the first uh, task uh, before you can perform other tasks. This is actually uh, normally um, the developer will discuss with the, with the user in this stage. And then uh, some of the fact finding technique uh, always used by developer uh, is uh, such a examining uh, this documentation, uh, interview, uh, check the documentation or record, and uh, observing the operation of the company. You know. uh, this one you need to go to the field and you see how the operation work. And uh, of course, there are required some uh, searching or you know find out the information more detail. Uh, and uh, that they're quite popular using the questionnaire. Uh, then this actually uh, so from the, the the information that we collect, uh, and then you do analyzing uh, yeah, from the various uh, perspective or from the various user view. So you will analyze, you will uh, organize, it and you will classify, and uh, fin you will determine, uh, of course, uh, what actually the purpose of the, the database. So in the mission statement, for example, we uh, to the Drohome, Dream Home database system in Connolly. The, the from that, we can see how the colony defined the, the, the mission of the objective of the database. For example, like uh, uh, from from the information, uh, Connolly defined the mission the Dream Home Database is uh, to maintain the data that is used and generated to support the property rental businesses for our client and property owners and to facilitate the cooperation and sharing of the information between the branches. So this actually uh, defined the, the, the mission of the uh, Dream Home and it's also defined the scope of the database that we need to 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 capture and, and to organize in in this database system uh, okay and then we can see the detail of the uh, of the objective the, and particularly you can define every single uh, data that you will create later of course it is this uh, uh, cannot be defined um, you know in the uh, when you don't uh, understand or you don't uh, very clear define the, the table that you want to define later. So uh, there will be uh, ongoing process that we need to go. And then uh, in uh, system boundary, for example, right, you need to uh, do like this, like uh, in Dream Home. Uh, in this case, um, uh, we in Dream Home, uh, focus, the focus is on the property rental staff, Customer services are uh, properly advertising. So you see, there are other components or other databases also linked to this, like marketing, payroll, property sale, and HRM. So, but uh, in this case, in the Home database, uh, you're not going to to develop the marketing database, payroll database, and HRM. But those database actually uh, is uh, is uh, linked to the the Dream Home database. So you need to define this uh, because they will be your boundary and of course they will be scope in your in your project letter.